Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for visiting me here by the corner. I truly, truly appreciate you guys all. So I was thinking that really, really common sense is really not common with everyone guys, you know. So yeah, we should just put it out there because like, yeah, a lot of people don't really care about the feelings of other people where that is common sense yeah a whole lot of people like where they think common sense is is where we find people who lead with stupidity or maybe they are a fool or maybe they are stupid or they are dumb or slow guys you know and they go out there and hate other people guys you know where like that is really a common sense for everyone guys who like i meaning i mean everyone meaning the majority of the people guys you know only the minority of the people would lead from their heart where like they are empathic and they know like they should treat people as they want to be treated and yeah one would put themselves in other people's shoes guys so they know that However, they treat other people, it always comes back to them, guys, you know. Which is why it worries me when it said common sense. Like, common sense as in leading from the heart or like being stupid, dumb or slow, guys, you know. Being stupid in that way that we go out of our way to hurt other people for what they have. And, yeah, automatically, the stupidity of all is that they want what other people that have worked hard for and yeah they think they can just come and take it easily like taking candy from a child guys you know where that is why i'm saying is that stupid dumb or slow where is the common sense of that guys i mean like if you're not leading from love where love should be a common thing for everyone i mean like isn't it fair that when we meet up with each other and we lead out of love, we don't gotta be looking at other people sideways or like we don't have to be starting to like feel some awkward way because we feel that somebody has dressed better than us or like somebody has, I don't know, like have the best hairstyle ever better than the other one or somebody has achieved more than the other one guys you know well i know that we are all in different lanes so like what's the point on being jealous to somebody else when we know that in time we can be that in time when we work hard when we put work on ourselves whatever somebody else has we can always have ourselves guys you know where this competition thing has got to stop guys you know i mean there is no way that one can be exactly a double ganger of somebody else guys you know yeah there is no point on one going out there and copying other people's behavior how they talk how they dress how they do whatever they do because we are all born differently our ancestors gave us all that we got our dna our hair our everything we get from our ancestors so for one not to appreciate themselves it just simply means that they don't like or better to be put in a right way they don't love their dna guys they don't love their lineage and yeah for like that is an insult to their ancestors guys you know because it's more like somebody's always looking out there cloud chasing because this person has got a better crowd so i'm gonna start be acting like them i'm gonna start being i don't know the way they are so maybe i can attract the same crowd as that person is attracting you see what i mean like yeah hence why people will be like copying other people's styles and yeah i understand that 
yeah we can get inspired and yeah there are trends that are going out there and all of that but it just goes out of control when somebody like really really want to copy somebody else and they want to start talking like them the foolery and the fuckery of all of that it just shows that somebody is fake guys you know like yeah well some people would want to be like somebody else because there's a whole lot of things that are talk about other people guys you know let's say maybe a guy is interested in a woman guys right and yeah they always go out there and check this woman out and yeah they really get intrigued and yeah even if this guy's got a partner which really, really bugs me a lot that why should a person go out of the way when they have a partner to go out of their way and be interested in some other woman and yeah neglect their woman and yeah take their focus off of their woman and focus it on some muse out there on the street guys you know like it just bugs me a lot that when somebody is really really interested on somebody else they go out there and trash their women and tell them like yo somebody is better than you somebody is doing better than you somebody is doing this for themselves somebody is doing that for themselves and all that way when that person was not around things were just flowing nicely for this couple guys you know only that this guy has taken this focus over off of this woman and yeah this woman doesn't really like that this is what drives women crazy guys you know when a guy is comparing the other woman with their women and some women would be really really slow or stupid or dumb and they will start attacking the other woman who they are compared to guys you know where it's really really wrong because even when somebody is interested in somebody else out there it doesn't guarantee them that they are gonna go out they're gonna be a couple and yeah they are gonna be in a holy matrimony and yeah happily ever after guys you know what intrigues me is that when a woman's got a problem with another woman because of a guy yeah it's a problem for me because like this other woman didn't call this guy to come to them and yeah say whatever they want to say and tell them yo you stole my heart and all of that and whatnot and whatnot you know where it's just a flirt guys you know well i really don't like guys who be flirting with other women of course even women will be flirting with other guys when they are in a relationship guys because that causes problems for other people out there where they end up double ganging this other person for them to get the attention or the attention of of them from the streets to like yeah get it back to them guys you know where like other women would take their lotions and their perfumes to spiritualist and do voodoo and love spells on their partner so they only focus on them and really really not get interested in somebody else out of their relationship you see what i mean well i don't understand why would a guy be comparing a one woman to the other woman because they feel that oh i have find myself a new moose where like this woman is better than you they are doing better for themselves and all that and all you gotta do is be asking me money for hair and asking me money for manicures and pedicures and all that while other women are doing that for themselves well that is wrong guys you know i mean when somebody goes out there and chooses a partner yeah some guys really really want women who really just want to be glitz and glamorous and all of that and yeah just want to go shopping and yeah spend money and all that where there are other women out there who really like studying and yeah really investing on themselves and their brains and like yeah you know people are different guys right and for one to be compared with the other it means you are put in a competition where you don't deserve it yourself if you really really 
are dating someone and this someone is starting to make you feel like oh i'm inadequate it means that you are in a wrong relationship guys you know i mean i wouldn't want to be going up with somebody who's comparing me to the other girls where like i know i'm different from the other girls and i seriously don't compete i mean like you cannot compete or compare yourself to somebody who is really different from you guys, you know? Where, like, yeah, some guys would want to be in a relationship where, like, a woman can talk for themselves, can reason for themselves, where they are always being bullied and all that, where men are supposed to be protective, guys, in a relationship, guys, you know? Yeah, they're supposed to be protecting the woman in any way whether it's physically emotionally and all of that yeah they shouldn't be going out there and bashing other kids because yeah like we are different guys you know yeah some people are the way they are because yeah they were groomed like that and yeah they can change if they want only like it just depends on what do they want to do with their life guys you know i mean like some women of course they allow their partner to date out of their relationships just because they just want to stick around with them guys you know so they would allow them to be going out there the dragon flies in the house transformation <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so sorry guys i'm so excited okay hi dragonfly <laughs> okay 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 guys back to the topic i mean like some women would allow their guys to go out of their in a relationship and they are going to be dating other women and all that and whatnot guys right because they do it because yeah they want to cleanse to this guy because of what they're getting out of the relationship because you know some women really don't want to work they just want to be housewives and all that and whatnot so yeah, they would allow their boyfriends to go cheat out there because they themselves, they are cheating on their partner, guys, you know. So, like, for me, it's just not an ideal relationship for me because the kind of relationship someone should have should be an honest relationship, guys, where, like, it's just two people involved, two people who love each other, and, yeah, three is a very very big number and for me three is a crowd especially when coming to a relationship because you know because you never know what other people do when you are not around and yeah you never really understand what they do behind your back guys you know so like for one to be allowed to like yo i allow my man to go cheat out there and all that which is why he loves me and all that for me that's a total bs guys you know it's about BS because that is not love. If you're gonna allow your man to go out there and be cheating on you and all of that, it means they're always and forever gonna be cheating, gonna be cheating on you guys, you know. Because a guy can only do what you allow, guys, you know. And yeah, if you really are a smart person and all that, if somebody cheats on you for the first time, it's your way, it's your cue to go you know there's no point for you to stay in a relationship where you are not respected at all and yeah like a girl would make you compete with other women and yeah you end up wanting to look like this other woman who your guy is interested in so yeah you change your personality and want to talk like them and walk like them and you even dress like them and for me that is really really sick that's really really sick that is Somebody who doesn't have super, super high self-esteem. They don't really think highly of themselves, but super, super low because, yeah, all they do is they operate through their coochie, guys, you know, and, yeah, it's coochie and moochie and all that, and that is what is going on around these days, guys, you know, where, like, it really, really bugs me a lot where, like, we think when a woman gets a man and the thing they do is they go to a spiritualist to say like hey i want to keep this man forever in my life and all that so give me 
something that would yeah make them stay and do some love rituals and them and all that guys you know i mean hey i feel like that is the really common sense that people think that is common sense guys you know common sense of going to a spiritualist and tell them hey work on my perfume and i want it when i put it on me and yeah my man gets to be so you see what i mean well where is the confidence in that guys you know i mean it's more like a person doesn't really trust themselves to hold a relationship on their own and really 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 like love without any 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 anything involved between the man and a woman guys you know where we can just include god in a relationship and yeah everything always works out guys you know i mean i love god yeah spirituality for me it's part of god like god holy spirit you know and yeah for a whole lot of people think that spirituality is doing voodoo on other people and all that where like it's called voodoo you see what i mean and why would it be like a good thing when it's called voodoo the unseen art the the secret like it really 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 bugs me where like people will be thinking common sense where like commonly like when people meet yeah we should be filled with love and all that otherwise why do we pretend why do we gotta go pretending that oh first time i see you i smile i think like yo i'm neutral and all that when people really really are hiding hate in their lives guys you know and yeah they will just give you a couple of days and then yeah sooner or later you realize the true personality of a person that oh this person is really hateful like, so this person is an opportunist so what they do is they will pretend to be happy for a minute or two knowing that oh well all they got in their heart is like a hateful heart guys you know it's carrying a whole lot of weight where like they can't even really really breathe proper guys you know there is no flow of ebb and flow in their life and yeah whatever they think every time it's manipulation and mischief and all of that guys you know we're like hey it's the new year and for one to be happy yeah we really gotta have to love ourselves enough not to stoop that low not to really really wish bad on somebody else not to really even wish death on somebody else guys you know we are living in borrowed time now and for us to always be wishing bad on somebody else and forgetting about god and really really like anytime is tea time anytime we can go home father god can come in anytime and be like yo rosa it's time for you to go home when it's god telling me that it's time for me to go home of course i will go home but through a, for somebody else be like oh i wish this on this person i wish that on this person or all that that is just impossible guys you know i mean if god willed it yeah who is this somebody else who wants to will their wishes on you where like they use witchcraft and yeah they dark arts and all that and whatnot and they be thinking they will live a long peaceful life that's my question where the com where is the common sense in all of that guys you know i mean like if it's not love it's hate and a whole lot of people will be thinking that oh hate oh i hate you and all that well somebody can just hate you out of nowhere because like yeah we all are loving to each other and all that and because of competition one would be like oh they feel small because oh this person is better than me not that you are saying you are better than somebody else they feel that you are better than them so that's where the love turns into the hate for me it's the intense love that would be a hate where somebody will be thinking okay i want to get rid of this person so i'll take their personality i want to get rid of this person so i have what they have so like yeah it's the love in a negative way in an intensive negative way where like yeah they will do anything and stop you by all means for them to be in the very same shoes you in guys you know so yeah let's just really really think before we wish somebody bad in life let's really, really know what we do 
where does it come from and all that which is why we always be saying we should do shadow work guys you know we shouldn't have to let our life turn into hate where that in a way that we want to kill somebody for what they have so we can have it to me it's just totally wrong because like if you really are inspired by somebody you can just simply go and ask them yo how do you do this how do you do that i mean like if it's out of love yeah information would be shared this is how i do things and all that so yeah you can learn from them i mean like i believe in sharing of information so yeah if i help one person this person can help the other person and this person can help two more people and all that that's the difference you make it doesn't mean that you only help one person your help keeps on going and going and going and it creates abundance for you but immediately when you start by like i want to kill someone and all of that and whatnot start getting sick you get heart attacks you get high blood pressures hypertension and all that and we're like at the end of it all you are the one who's ending your own life you are the one who is hurting yourself you are the one who with the foolery and the fuckery and that will be taking you down and sooner or later there will be slow singing and flower bringing by your house where like yeah they want to be taking you to your last resting place let's be fair guys love is the only way and the only way is love so if you're not eating out of love what are you doing why are you wasting your time in things that really don't matter because like what we are living for here is for god remember he died for us on the cross and yeah what we do is yeah we accept them that yeah he died for us on the cross and all we do is we be of service to other people the same way jesus was he was never a proud man and remember this god doesn't like ugly guys i love you and if somebody didn't tell you that they love you i do always remember to stay in your truth and always be authentic and peace out i will see you guys later alligators